guys, it's Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you about some favorite things, mostly favorite things, that I used over the last two months. So, for March and April, because it's May now. And then a couple of forget it things that I wouldn't... I wouldn't again. Hi, Empress. Say hi, baby. That sounds interesting. Please do stick around. Uh, and if you haven't already, you could hit that subscribe button. That would be pretty amazing. I'm going to save my favorite thing that I used over the last two months till the end. I used these products on my face today, um, except for one that I'm going to talk about I did not use. So let's go ahead and start with that one. So the thing that I didn't use today is this Trace Luce um, La Fleur de Mexico palette and that's because I used another eye product on my eyes today. But this is so beautiful. It's kind of like a neutral palette. The shimmers in here are gorgeous. Uh, they look wet when you put them on the eyes. The shade Dragon Fruit. I was wearing this in my e.l.f beauty wand video so if you want to have a look at what this palette looks like you can check out that video I was wearing the shades in there sorry my my little dog is in here with me so if you can hear her skittering about um, that's just Empress in the background uh, she wanted to be back here with mommy let's talk about what's actually on my eyes today and that is the ColourPop Shadow Sticks. And these are just so cool. I have a lot of them. Um, and they're all in... Oh, and I have a teal one. <laughs> um, they're all in similar colors. But I wanted to talk about the two that I have on my eyes today. I have on Plum Tart, which is like, you know, a purple. Which is... It, it leans a little bit on the red end of the spectrum. And then I have this pink one. Then I have the shade High Noon on, which is just like a pale pink shimmer. Beautiful. They go on super easily. You don't need a primer with them. They blend out just like eyeshadow, but then they set and they don't crease and they don't move just like a shadow stick. So they're if you've been thinking about getting them, I 100% recommend them. Let's move on to something that I would rather forget. I'm going to put a picture of it right here because I have thrown it away. I tried the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, which I know was not, is not new, but it was new to me. And I heard so much good things about it and I was so excited to try it because it has like this silicone texture that makes it not feel like a sunscreen. It didn't really smell too sunscreeny, if that makes sense. I broke out so bad from this product. <laughs> this was like huge cystic acne. My face turned red. Um, it took like four or five days for it to heal up and calm down. I talked a little bit about it in one of my other videos. Um, so if you haven't watched that, you can go back and watch. I think it was, was it my Sephora haul video? No, it was my ColourPop video. It was my ColourPop video. That's where you can see some of the aftermath. Um, and that was after it had started healing. So do I think it's a terrible product? No. If you can handle silicone-y type products, go for it. Um, for me personally, my sensitive skin it did not agree. Moving on to another thing I love this month is actually a brush and it is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. Mine is dirty because I used it to put my foundation on today. Um, but I love using this uh, before that, before this brush, I was not a fan of using a brush to apply my foundation. Um, I tried using this brush. I got it in the Robert Welsh and Sigma um, brush set and I use it every time I put my foundation on. Now I put my foundation on with this, I spread it out and then I use a sponge and just kind of blend it in with the skin and I just think it, it gives me a little fuller coverage with my foundation um, and it's just 
I love it. It's a great brush. If you're looking for a foundation brush the, the and you don't mind paying for Sigma, which they're wonderful quality brushes, but they are a little on the pricey side, um, this is a great one. Another thing that I tried this month um, that I felt kind of lucky that I got my hands on before they sold out was the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oils. Now, even I have made a video of a dupe of these, and that was the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain. But I still just really, really loved these. I can't, um, this has a mintiness to it that I, I quite like. And they're just beautiful. Their colors are gorgeous. I have it in Wonder, which is basically my lip color. And then I have it in Affection, which is what I'm wearing today. Um, they're just beautiful. Um, and I'm glad I have them in my collection. And I've been wearing them over and over. They feel very light and like nothing on the lips. Um, or they almost have this like gel watery texture that's amazing. Um, and then they leave behind a stain, and so they're lovely. So if you can get your hands on them, I absolutely 100% recommend them. So next, I want to talk about another thing that I didn't get into, and this is not new, but it was new to me. I just tried it, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So I have been looking for a, like a full coverage foundation for when I'm wanting to go full coverage. Um, because I'm typically more of a light to medium coverage kind of girl. So I got recommended this. Um, it's just, it's okay. I feel like it looks a little bit cakey. Um, do I think it's worth the almost $50 price tag? No, absolutely not. Um, and it's just, it's okay. Like, like it settled into pores, it settled into fine lines, it just, it wasn't flattering and it wasn't cute. And I wore it several times over the course of a few weeks and every time I would just look in the mirror and be like, oh. Moving on to something that I did like and that is this Say Blush in Rosie. I actually got this as a set with another product that I'm going to talk about from Say. And it's just the cute, it's like a beautiful color, I think. It's the blush that I have on today. Um, it blends out really nicely with a sponge. It's just a nice, it's called rosy, and it, it that's exactly what it is. It's like nice rosy cheeks. Um, perfect for my skin tone. Um, I think it comes in a couple of other shades. I will look it up on the onlines before I post this. Um, but it's just beautiful it's a beautiful blush I've been wanting to try the brand and wasn't disappointed I the next thing that I want to talk about that I really loved this month was the halo glow contour beauty wand the other the highlighter was okay I'm going to talk about the blush in just a minute but the contour love it I have it on today right in here in the hollows of my cheeks um it's it's just the perfect contour shade. It blends out really easy. The little sponge tip applicator makes it super easy to apply. You have good control with it. Um, it's And it performs... I, I don't feel like I'm using a $9 product when I use this. I, I feel like it performs more like a high-end product. Um, so And this is in the shade Fair Light, which is a very classic gray contour, which on my fair skin. Speaking of the Halo Glow Beauty Wands, the blush is one of the things that I would say forget it. If you love a glowy blush, maybe you'll love this. I felt like it was a pink highlighter. <laughs> it looked so glowy and then it accentuated the texture on my skin. Like I feel like it made it look like I had more texture than I actually do. Um, in the video where I reviewed these, my, my mother watched it and actually said it looked like I had a rash on the side of my face. And I was like, that's not cute. Um, I think it was just this, if you don't have a lot of texture or maybe you don't care about it highlighting texture, but for me, it wasn't the look I was going for. The last two things I want to talk about were my two favorite things that I tried 
over the last couple months. And the first thing that I want to talk about is this Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. That's what I that's all I have on my lashes today. No falsies, no nothing, just this mascara. That's it. And it's gorgeous. It's got a really cool, unique wand that's like an hourglass shape, but then it has one side that works like a lash comb. So as you roll it through your lashes, it really separates them and gives loads of length, which is exactly what I like in a mascara. So if you like separation, length, 100%, this is your girl. Um, I really, really enjoyed this mascara. It has, it's, I don't know if I can say I like it better than my Thrive. Maybe equally as my Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions. That's been my favorite for like two years is the Thrive. Um, this is right up there with it. Uh, this is my favorite thing that I've tried in the last two months. And when I say it's my favorite thing, like I love this so much. I get, I'm so like excited just to talk about this. This is the Say Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. It does come in another color. I think it might, it's called, I, I will put it up here. It does come in another color for deeper skin tones. This is for, it's a very nude highlighter. It's just gorgeous. Like, I think I read that you can mix it in with your foundation. You can use it as a primer if you want for glowiness. I just used it as a highlighter. I put the tiniest little dot on my finger and then I blended it up in here and my temples. Um, it's the prettiest highlighter I've ever put on my face. It looks like my skin is glowing. It looks natural. It doesn't look glittery or overly shiny or greasy or any of that. It's just so, so, so pretty. That is my spooky bit. This one's gonna be hard. My spooky bit are these earrings here, not my moons or my black studs, but the uh, the skull here. I'll put a picture of them up. I got these on Amazon and I thought they were going to be smaller <laughs> than this. You can see how big they are. They're, I believe they're stainless steel. They're beautiful. I mean, if you're looking for skull earrings, these are perfect. They would look great in as a standalone earring, like if, if you only have one piercing, or if you're like me and you have multiple piercings, they, I would think they would look just as cute in my front piercing as they do in my middle piercing. I got them to pretty much wear every day uh, because I wear all black piercings in all my, all my everyday, like my back piercings. It's only my front piercing that I switch it up. So I'm wearing them for like three days now and um, sleeping in them. They're comfortable. Uh, they're not too heavy, but they are, they are more impressive, I think, in real life. Like, I liked them better in real life than I did on Amazon. That's everything that I have for you. Um, hopefully you found something you want to go out and try. Um, I'm still thinking about the highlighter and how pretty it is. It's just so pretty. But, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment for me. Ask me questions. Tell me things. I I love responding to your comments. So I would love comments from you on my videos. Um, but also, if you're not already, you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would be amazing. Have a stupendous rest of your day. And I will see you later. Bye.